Should you update your house in a seller's market? Hi, I'm Karen Roth with Remax Integrity Leaders here with my broker, Peter Grosso. It's a seller's market. Should you update your home to put it up for sale? Let's find out. Number one, should you update your kitchens or your baths? Karen. What do you advise your clients when they ask you, should they update their kitchens, should they update their baths? If it's a quick fix, maybe changing some knobs, maybe you're going to do it. But if you're talking about gutting a kitchen, changing all the cabinets, countertops, just to put it on the market, are you going to get that return on investment? Typically, no. It's, that's my opinion, is that the, when you're gonna, when people want to make the kitchen that they always wanted for the last 30 years and then leave and they're not getting the money that they're putting back in and they're not getting the joy either. Absolutely. Do you want to put it in a $50,000 kitchen and then move? I don't think so. I'm not doing it. No. I actually did a video on taking my green for mica countertops and updating them with a product. What's the product? What's the product? What's the product? What's the product? It's a product that you can get online at Lowe's. The link's below. What about bathrooms? Do you have any quick tips for our sellers out there? Yes. If you have that original bathroom, it's easy to change just a couple of things. Take a pretty shower curtain and hang it across. And changing a vanity, you can get a new vanity for under $300. Great tip. Number two. Peter, what about flooring? So typically, with flooring, I don't ask my clients to make any changes because buying a house starts with the heart and when people come in and, and they feel the house and they feel like it can be theirs, they say, I can change the carpets, I can make it what I want. But when there are moments, when there are pee stains, when there are things that dogs or cats have left, sometimes those are the moments that I say, maybe we'll change the carpets. Number three, should I paint? Karen, should they paint? Is this finally something we're gonna tell them to do? It all depends. So I just had a listing where we had a green wall, an orange wall, and a red wall. And I said to her, paint the house. It's the quickest, easiest thing to do, but it's not always necessary. So check in with your realtor before you do it. Sometimes if it's a smoker's house, if it feels a little dingy, we'll brighten it up. For more tips on selling your home, call me directly at 631-355-0316. I'll see you soon. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up, and click the bell to be notified of my next post.